Welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're going to hang this 65 pound mirror on drywall. I'm thinking we can maybe hit three studs, not sure, but we are going to mount it using a French cleat. French cleat, very simple apparatus. It's two strips of metal, this French cleat. Both pieces are identically the same. You mount one on the back of the, what you want to hang, and you mount one on the wall, and when you slide them together, and then you just take your picture, your mirror, you put it on the wall, you slide it down, and it locks into the bracket that's on the wall. This is rated for 250 pounds. This is a 45 inch wide bracket, rated for 250 pounds. They say to put in three fasteners per foot. I think I can hit three studs with this. This mirror has little shelves on it. So the shelves are level. Had to shim the bottom of the mirror to get the shelves level. But once I shim the mirror to make the shelves level, the top is level too. There's wood trim around this mirror. So it might, it might not be level. So we shim the one corner. The shelves are level. The top is level. Check it side to side, it's level. Just a quick note. I turned the mirror around so I can put that French cleat half on the back of this. I was expecting to have to shim the other side. Not the case, I'm shimming the same side because of the garage floor pitch. Garage floor pitch is a little heavy, but that's okay. Everything lines up, mirrors level on the garage floor now. We're gonna put that cleat on. Now here's our French cleat. We got the two rails. They give you the anchors for the wall, two rubber bumpers to put on the bottom of your artwork so it stays properly spaced away from the wall and then you've got the screws that go into the artwork you got to make sure these screws aren't too long you don't want them screwing through your wood frame and then poking out through the wood on the front side of your art so make sure your screws don't protrude through the wood so right now the picture is level we've got the big level on the back of the picture with the cleat the cleats level we're gonna go ahead and screw this cleat to the back of this picture. We got number eight by half inch screws. We're gonna use a 1 drill bit to make pilot holes. This 45 inch cleat is now attached with 13 eight by one half inch screws. And the way this works, now we're gonna mount this cleat on the wall. And when we mount this cleat on the wall, these two are gonna to slide together just like this and hold everybody in place. So right now we've got that cleat attached with 13 8 by 1 half inch wood screws. It's on pretty solid. Now we got to do the wall side. Got the French cleat wall side all done. Now I have to have 14 fasteners. Hit, hit studs I think with two or three of the screws. The rest are all the hollow wall anchor. The one thing I never thought of doing this French cleat with the 45 inch span. This would distribute the weight way more evenly than a shorter one. That's why this one's rated for 225 pounds. This wall's not flat. It's a, it's a bit wavy. So we're going to see if that mirror cleat slides into this cleat and lines up properly. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down, wipe it down. Gotcha! Ta-da! The mirror's on the wall. It's been up for, oh, about an hour now. Hasn't fallen off. The French cleat, pretty cool device. Precise as far as getting the strip on the wall, strip on your artwork mirror or whatever. A little tedious, but the weight ratings for these things are pretty phenomenal. I wish I'd known about this when I hung a Starry Nights picture with my ass 13 feet off the floor hanging it on three screws in the wall. When you have a French cleat, 90% of the weight needs to be matched up with both cleats. So this is a 45 inch cleat. 90% means I can go 10% left or right. For me, it's four and a half inches. Once you go over the four and a half, now the stability of the object you're hanging becomes compromised. But I'll tell you what, this was, this was rock solid and it was, man, it took two of us to lift this. 60, it's a 65 pound mirror. We stuck it up on there, we got it on there and it, it's holding on pretty good. It was easy to hang, and it was adjustable. Nice. Cheers. With an icy cold cosmopolitan with a fresh lemon ice cube in the middle from all the lemons we squeezed for our limoncello.
French cleat's pretty cool. First time I ever used it. I say I have to work out pretty good. Well, hey, have a good weekend. Take care. Thanks for watching. See ya.